everyone. This is about the golf concerto, which is going to be happening from February to end of March. This is an amazing set of events uh, with comprised of six events on the golf and Matra, led by the golf literary festival, the gourmet festival, the drumming festival, book fair, the opera that is happening, and Anantara. There are so many events happening. This is again under His Excellency President and our Honorable Minister's guidance. We are doing all this to bring tourists back into Sri Lanka and to say that Sri Lanka is normal and to get the correct audience for the country, correct tourism uh, culture to the country to take it forward. Thank you very much. Hi, I am uh, representing two events that happen under um, Gaul Concerto. So I'm representing the Gaul Literary Festival and also Gome Gaul Festival. Gaul Literary Festival is taking place from the 25th to the 28th of January in Gaul. It began in 2007 and uh, we're very grateful to the Sri Lanka Tourist, uh, Tourism Promotions Bureau for being our main sponsor because this has allowed us to have this event for the first time since 2019. Now. There's a whole host of different events. Some are paid events, but we also have a lot of free events. And what I would encourage you to do is go to our website. That's gaulliteraryfestival.com. You'll see the whole program for all four days. Uh, and you'll also be able to see which events are free and which are ticketed. Uh, in general, we have a lot. We have a lot of uh, um, conversations, moderated conversations. We also have guided walks around the city, uh, workshops in drama, in poetry, in writing. We also have featured speakers. The headliners for the Gaul Literary Festival this year, of course, our very own Shehan Karunathilaka, winner of the Booker Prize. Actually, he just finished his year as winner of the Booker Prize. We're very excited to have him talk and tell us about what has been going on. Then we also have Alexander McCall Smith, Anthony Horowitz, Sebastian Fork, Christina Lamb, Mary Beard, Amina Hussein. It's a real, um, who was, we're very, very also fortunate to have a few film screenings. Uh, we have one which is a documentary about Jeffrey Bauer, uh, and it's made by a Sri Lankan expatriate called Afdal Aziz. And um, in addition to looking at the life of Jeffrey Bava, it's kind of like a love letter to Sri Lanka. So very excited for you to see that. We also have um, expatriate Sri Lankan authors like Nizrana Farooq coming. Uh, and very, I'm personally very excited to meet Nihal Arthanayaka. He's a Sri Lankan born British radio presenter. He works a lot for BBC Radio. Uh, and he's going to be here and talking to us. So as you can see, there's a whole host of different events that we invite you to join. And the other event I want to talk to you about is Gome Gaul. Now for Gome Gaul, that started on the 12th of January and it's going on until the 31st of March. And what is happening there is we're bringing down international chefs from around the world, including uh, lots of Sri Lankan cooks like Peter Kuruwita. And this is slightly more, it's for a traveler who wants um, a more of a high-end experience so you have these amazing chefs some of them are Michelin uh, star chefs who are coming down and cooking with local produce so they have to go outside their comfort zone and they have to make an amazing meal for their guests and these meals are going to the events whether it's a dinner or lunch they're going to be hosted in um, hotels in private villas so places like uh, the Jetwing Lighthouse or even um, uh, there, there are venues in Waligama uh, where Gaul, uh, the Gourmet Gaul section of the festival will go on and that's going on until the 31st of March. program of the Southern Gaul Concerto, which includes seven different events, including the famous Gaul Literary Festival, Drums and Rhythms, 
gourmet food cuisine Sri Lanka, a book fair, and music and art. We are bringing together all that is great and good in Sri Lanka and promoting it around the world to tell the world that we are back and that Sri Lanka is in open for business and our warm hospitality which the world has always recognized so our beaches our waterfalls our hills our historic cities and our hotels are open to the world come and enjoy